Simon Cowell plots chart takeover with X Factor downloads, new Michael Jackson album due in November, and Alicia Keys gets married in front of Bono. First up, Travi McCoy missed out on the top spot in the UK singles chart as The Wanted are this week's UK number one with their debut single, All Time Low. Gym Class Heroes frontman Travi McCoy got to number three with his single, Billionaire, featuring Bruno Mars. In the album charts, Eminem still at the top with Recovery, while Tom Jones' new album, Praise and Blame, went in at number two, his highest chart position in eight years. Simon Cowell's come up with a cunning plan to dominate the charts this year and have an X Factor number one every week. Simon plans to make every X Factor finalist's live performance available as a download straight after the show. With a possible 16 finalists this year, that's one hell of a lot of tracks to be released by Cowell every week, with the maximum exposure and likelihood of a number one. Well, they don't call him a music mogul for nothing. A brand new Michael Jackson album with 10 unreleased songs is due out in November. It's set to include tracks Jackson recorded with Will I Am back in 2006, as well as unreleased tracks from the 80s Bad Sessions. There are reportedly over 100 finished Michael Jackson songs in the archives, including collaborations with Neo and Akon. The Jackson Estate signed a 10-album, seven-year deal with Sony BMG in March, and this new album will be the first release. There are reportedly DVD collections, reissues, a greatest hits and even Cirque du Soleil show also planned, as well as a dance and karaoke video game expected by the end of the year. And Alicia Keys got hitched at the weekend to her producer boyfriend Swizz Beats in Corsica. The pair wed in front of close family and friends, who included Bono and Queen Latifah. Alicia's pregnant with her first child. Aww.